Hello YouTube. Today we're going to do a video on the question I'm sure a lot of people are wondering. How many feet do you have to go to see a difference in reception? Well, we're going to try to test this a little bit today. And what we're going to do, we're going to leave the antenna down, all the way down on the pole. And I, the antenna I'm using is the store-bought and Redivus high gain GMRS antenna. We're going to do a couple distance tests with the antenna down like this. And then we're going to pause the video, come back, raise the antenna, and go back to the same locations to see uh, if there's a difference. Now, I do realize maybe there may be a big difference or maybe not when you get really really f far away and um, so that you know may be a factor but for what I'm gonna do today we're just gonna do the same type of distances that I do in all my videos so that uh, you got something to, uh, to compare to so let's go ahead and measure the height of this pole when it's not extended out. This is a painter's pole. Um, it's all the way down as far as it can go, at least for this setup. So let's see what the tape measure says. So we all know. And then I'm going to take you inside and show you the setup. And uh, then we'll get started. So this is going to be, what does it say? 13 13 feet plus the height of the trailer because the trailer is about a foot off the ground so we're gonna say about 14 feet um, is the height of the antenna now what I'm measuring is I'm measuring the pole not including the actual antenna height it's just the pole and I think we can agree Trailer is about a foot off the ground, so say 14 feet from the ground to the tip of the painter's pole. Not the antenna, painter's pole is right, right in there. So we'll say a total of 14 feet. Um, again, we're using the same setup as we did in the last few videos. We're using the handheld hooked up to the laptop to record and play back so I can hear how it sounds and the actual repeater that this is connecting to is just right behind this wall and we're going to use the same setup here stock repeater I got the watt meter hooked up we'll show you the SWRs and wattage radio check one two three four So 1.01 .01 is the SWR, about 6.46 uh, for wattage, stock repeater. So there is that. I'm going to put you on pause. We're going to go to the first location, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. We're not going to do the locations that are close by because there's really no point. I think to if you're going to see some uh, gain, you need to be kind of further out. So we're going to do the two-mile location, um, as you've seen in my other videos. I've been to the spot many times. We're two miles as the crow flies to the repeater. I'm using a handheld on high power, and this is the antenna, including the trailer height, is 14 feet off the ground and let's see at two miles away if I can hit the repeater radio check one two three four radio check one two three four so we can hit the repeater um, at that distance so uh, and I, of course, got people walking by when I'm trying to do 
a video, of course. But uh, we got the, uh, uh, we can hit the repeater. Sounds scratchy. Um, I'm going to do it one more time here. I'm just trying to see where that guy went. Okay, okay, sorry about that. All right, let's do it one more time. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. I mean, you can definitely make it out. It's 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 static heat, but you can make it out. So I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually, for the the conditions I'm up against. That's pretty pretty good. Radio check one two three four. Radio check one two three four. That's not bad. That's not bad. So let's go further out. Let's go to the other location and see what happens. I'll be right back. Okay, we got the location, and this is going to be 2.91 miles away. Antenna is 14 feet off the ground. Let's see if we can hit the repeater. Radio check, 1, 2, 3, 4. Radio check, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Static key, but you can make it out. We'll do it one more time. Radio check. 2.91 miles away. 14 foot antenna off the ground. So there, um, we're hitting it. Um, I'm going to decide on if I'm going to go to a uh, another location here, or do I want to go back and raise the antenna, then come to these two spots. Um, so let me decide on how I'm going to do this. The other location I could do is a little bit closer in the other direction, as you saw in my other videos. Um, but you know, honestly. I'm, I'm starting to think that to really show any increased gain or reception, I'm starting to think that a person may have to you know do 20 foot, 15 to 20 foot increments. If you're going to raise your antenna, raising it an extra 10 feet may not help a lot unless you're right next to a tree or something and you get above the tree. But I think 10 foot you know height. I'm going to be surprised if I see a big difference. So at any rate, let's pause this, and uh, I'll possibly go to the next location here, and I'll let you know. Okay, we decided to do one more location here. This is going to be 2.12 miles away. We're going to see if we can uh, hit the repeater from here. The, the antenna is only 14 feet off the ground. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Okay. Very, very hard to make out. We'll try it one more time. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. That one's that that time I saw it better. We'll do it one more time. Radio check one two three four four three two one. Okay, so it's 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 so so here. Not not um not bad for only being fourteen feet off the ground. Um, I'm going to pause the video, we're going to raise the antenna, and we're going to do the same locations and see what happens. I'll be right back. 
All right, YouTube, here's the second half of the video. As you can see, I raised the antenna as high as I can go. Let's check to see what it measures. And we'll do that now. Okay, to the bed of the trailer, it is going to be about 21 feet and 3 inches. Add a foot to that because of the trailer height. So 22 feet and 3 inches. So if you, we subtract 14 feet from earlier, we're talking a extra height of 8.3 feet. I don't think you're going to see much difference, to be honest with you. I think you're going to need to do 15 foot increments minimum to start seeing differences. Now, of course, there's some variables on that. I mean, if you're up against a tree and you go five inches and you're above the tree, well, that probably would help. But I'm talking in general, I think 15 feet or more increments and then and in an antenna height is where you're probably going to start seeing some d big differences but at any rate let's go ahead and we'll do this video go back inside show you the same it's the same setup nothing's different same handheld same repeater right there We'll show you the SWRs to make sure they did not change when I wrote when I raised the antenna. So let's go ahead and check. Radio check. One, two, three, four. Don't know if you can see that or not, but it is one point one point zero one and six point three watts. It's pretty much the same. So uh, I'm going to pause the video. We're going to go to the location, the first location, and let's see if we see a big difference in uh, reception. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, location one, which is about two miles away. Let's see if a antenna height 8.3 feet higher makes a big difference radio check one two three four radio check one two three four and i'm gonna do it again here it's like every time i come here there's always somebody walking by i said <laughs> unbelievable let's right, try it one more time Radio check one two three four four three two one radio check I don't know if there's really that much difference um, This is done the same day just to let people know that I'm using the same handheld um, going to try to do all this in one video so I'm going to keep it short we're going to go to the next location and try it again okay guys we're at the other location now this one is 2.91 miles away let's see how it sounds radio check one two three four radio check Try it again here. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Staticky, we can make it out, but definitely staticky. One more try. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, I'm going to go to the next location. We're going to put you on pause, and we'll be right back. 
All right, guys, we're at our final location here. Let's see uh, what the how it sounds. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Radio check one two three four four three two one. Doesn't sound too bad. I'd have to check the beginning of the video to see how it sounded when when the antenna was lower. But um, I'm going to say I, I you know I would say minimum. 15 feet increments when raising an antenna. I think anything below that's a waste of time and perhaps money, uh, depending on how you have to do it. Now, there's some exceptions. Like I said before, if you're next to a tree or next to a building and a foot or or five feet gets you above it, then that's where the exception, you know, of course, would, would come into play. But I think overall, if you're going to raise your antenna, do it 15 feet minimum increments. Um, I hope this video has been helpful and if you have any questions or comments please post them down below and please subscribe. Thank you. And I'm not sure if I said that or not but this location is 2.12 miles away. Um, I thought I better mention that before I drive off or start. I started to drive off. Um, other than that I think that is it. Um, again, this was done the same day, maybe 20, 30 minutes difference from the first part of this video. And uh, any questions or comments, please post them down below. Thank you.